really come to this, huh? Well, it's the only way we can prove your dad was murdered. You got that money for the grave diggers? Yeah, I got it. Is Richie rich? Yeah. Here. Half now and half when it's finished. Now let's meet back here in two hours. I'm gonna go check on that pathologist, make sure he's ready. Just a rock. I can't believe you let Daphne out of your sight. What was I supposed to do, lock her in a closet? Yes, you know how important it was to keep Daphne away from him. She was gonna find out what you and he did eventually. Yes, but I don't want her to find out from Dimitri. I had this all planned out, that is why I told Natalia. I can't let Dimitri put his own spin on things and give Daphne some stupid reason to forgive him. Or even worse, them figuring out that you used illegal drugs to rape him. Dimitri slept with my best friend. Yeah, Taylor, isn't that her name? She's my roommate. Well, apparently you're sharing a lot more than the utilities. <laughs> That's crazy. Is it? Did she come home last night? Actually, no. But she and Dimitri were... I'm sorry. How do you know this? Well, because I know everything. Taylor and Dimitri slept together in that ragbag motel across from the rave. That, that's... it's impossible. Well, apparently the Hilton was all booked up. Martini? I can't believe you're telling me this. You may need it when we're done chatting. You mean there's more? After Taylor and Dimitri slept together, he acted like he didn't even remember it. He did. But obviously he did. He must remember something. Why else would he be pressuring Taylor to keep her mouth shut? Thanks, Ashley. It's a relief to know she stayed at your house last night. No, I'm glad she was with you. <laughs> I've been thinking all kinds of strange things. Thanks. Bye. What the hell are you doing? Dude, what's your prop? I am not your property anymore, Ivan. Hey. Julie, I was worried sick. Were you so busy you couldn't even call? Julie, are you listening to me? What the hell were you on last night? Don't ignore me, Julie. I saw your behavior last night. Everyone did. Look, I don't feel like talking right now. You look awful. <sighs> I feel awful. I just want to lie down. Me too. I'm exhausted from spending half the night worrying whether or not something happened to you. Where the hell did you run off to last night? It doesn't matter where I was. It matters to me. I am not your responsibility anymore. I didn't like the way you were acting last night. Oh, really? I've never seen you drink like that before. I've barely even seen you drink. It was a rave, Ivan. Be such an old woman. It was gross. You making out with some guy you barely even knew. Look, what I do or who is none of your business. As long as you live here, it is. You were the one who wanted to keep up this pretense about being married until your father... Well, for his sake... It's a small favor to ask of you, considering. I was willing to go along with this. But I don't... I don't feel like living with some party whore. Some what? How dare you call me that? Do you have any idea what I've been through? God. I just...
just want to forget about last night. I want to forget it too. But I know how angry and hurt you are. I can't help. I can't help wondering if you're going to keep acting out like you did last night. No. Never again, I swear. God. Oh! Oh, my Julie? head! Julie? <laughs> I'm gonna call a doctor. <laughs> You're the one who gave me the ketamine. Oh, yeah, that's really going to get you off the hook. Look, we have got some damage control to do. I cannot afford to lose Dimitri now, not after all this. <laughs> you can't afford to piss off any more people in this town. I mean, look what you did to poor little Cherish. She hasn't been the same since she found out about you and Sasha. And Daphne? Uh, she trusted you, made you her partner. What do you think she's going to do when she finds out you banged her guy? Uh, this isn't helping. I just want you to be prepared. You should start looking for a new place to crash. How about my cabin? <clears throat> I wouldn't be caught dead there. Well, it's not the Carlisle Mansion, but you pretty much screwed yourself out of those digs. <laughs> Literally. Oh, look, I am not giving up on Dimitri. Oh, and, and what about you? You already giving up on Daphne? The girl can't get her mind off Dimitri. I gotta move on. Besides, I met this tasty little slut at the rave last night. I think she is perfect for me. Mm -hmm. She sounds like you're a dream girl. Ooh, it's half past bitter in here. I gotta go. What a shame. I'll be back. The question is, will you still be here? Dimitri wants Taylor to lie? That's what I heard. That, well, you heard this from them? It's pretty hard to keep secrets in this family. I just, I just don't get it. I mean, we were supposed to spend the night together at my place after the rave. And this was supposed to be your first time together? And he didn't even show up? Well, now you know why. And I bet you had the candles waiting and the rose petals in the bathtub, the CD player stocked with Sade and, and Savage Garden. Are you sure you don't want that drink? Just... Look, my playboy brother, Dimitri, really did a number on you. He blows you off. He sleeps with your best friend, Taylor, then tells her it doesn't mean anything. God, I really feel for you both. <sighs> Dimitri just, he never struck me as the type, ever. How long have you known him? What, a couple of months? Yeah, I guess that's not too long, is it? My father had the uncanny ability to be able to smile at you while driving the stake right into your heart. Dimitri was his best student. He used his trust as a weapon. A means to an end, and I'm afraid you were just another end. Rejection is never easy to accept, but I'm afraid that this is a pattern with all the Carlisle men. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. No, it's... <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure I would have found out sooner or later. Oh. Well, it's been very nice talking to you. And uh, I want you to take care, okay? Thanks. Who was that? It's true. Daphne slept with Taylor. How could you do that to me? 
It was Taylor. She, she drugged me. Drugged you? Yes. Look, she slipped something in my drink, and then she she put your wig on, and I was just totally out of it, and I, I thought she was you. I, I can't believe she did that. You know I would never sleep with her on purpose. You know that, right? Oh, Dimitri. I know you wouldn't. I can't believe I trusted her. How could she? I'm gonna destroy that evil slut. That was just a delivery boy. What was he delivering? It's personal, okay? Look at Testy. So, why aren't you out on a date tonight? I don't know. What about you? Where's Francisco? Do I look like his mother? Ah, oh, did you two love muffins have a little fight? Hmm? None of your business. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you drove him away. I mean, I don't know why any normal guy would want to be with you unless you know, he needed a kidney. <laughs> oh. Spoken by a man with a rock-solid love life. And what is that supposed to mean? Torn between two lovers, feeling like a scumbag. Dude, where have you been? I had some things to take care of, remember? Thanks for getting me the cash and for occupying Natalia. I gotta go to the cemetery. Hope you find what you're looking for, D. I know. I was worried about you. For a while there, I thought you joined the dark side with my sister. I am glad that you joined us. Who let you in? Olga. Who else? Remind me to have her deported. Bye now. So you're still pissed? How can you tell? Get out. Natalia, it was one date with Kelly. She meant nothing to me. What is that, the catchphrase of the day? Why do men have to lie about everything? No relationship ever means anything to you. That's not true. You mean a lot to me. No, spare me. It's true. Where else would I come here willing to lick your boots? I'm asking you for forgiveness, Natalia. Just asking? What? You want me to beg? Yeah. You got it. Please. Please. Please forgive me for not telling you that I went on one date with Kelly. Get on your knees. <clears throat> Please, Natalia. How bad do you want it? Hmm. And lick my boot. Do it. Julie, you need help. No, Ivan, don't call the doctor. Stop it! I'm fine! Just, just give me a second, okay? I've never seen a hangover like this before. It's not a hangover. I'm just tired. I need sleep. You haven't been yourself for days. Have you eaten anything? I'm not hungry. I'll have Olga make you something. I said I don't want anything, Ivan. I'm just trying to figure out how long this has been going on. Since my husband told me he liked men. I'm just trying to deal with my life since you've ruined it. If I thought you would go into this tailspin, I never Told would've... me? 
You would have lied to me forever. Ivan, mean, don't you think eventually I would have figured things out? Julie, I'm sorry I hurt you. I want to help you. You want to help me? Then you stay the hell away from me! My head aches back. Thank you! I'm going. I'll be downstairs if you need me. I need some more crystal. <sighs> I don't appreciate having to track you down, Lyle. Bad boys who don't check in with their parole officers wind up back in the hole. I'm sorry, I just, I've been real busy. I've made a lot of improvements in my life to go straight, you know? Like? I got a job at this coffee place called Euphoria, and, uh, well, I got, I got back in touch with my sister, Taylor, who's a real go-getter, by the way. She sets a great example for me to follow. Uh-huh. What else? Well, I think I'm ready for a relationship. I think I have something big to offer. I'll take your word for it. Oh, Lisa, you're so cruel. Lyle, the only thing I'm interested in is making sure you stay out of trouble. That's it. Are you sure I can't interest you in anything more? Well, if I catch you stepping out of line even once, I'll be really interested in tossing your sorry ass right back in the slammer. Next week our meeting's at 3 o'clock. I suggest you get yourself a watch. And don't steal it. You know, don't you? Look shut up. up, Taylor! Just shut the hell up! I done you. Here is the sound of your voice. Just let me tell you my side of Get the story. Out!
Uh, we'd like to be alone for this. Now, Dimitri, this isn't gonna be pretty. I can do this myself if no. I want. No, I can handle it, okay? I have to see this. Now, don't worry. The autopsy will prove once and for all your dad was killed before his car went over Miller's Ridge. Next, on Spider Games. Did he tip Natalia off, give her time to have done what she needed to do? Everything's fine, Ashley. Ivan's coming over and um, I just need some alone time. Okay. I'll call you later. You know, you're beginning to sound more and more like Dimitri. I'm just saying I, I really admire you for rising above it all. Spider Games soundtrack album available on Atlantic Records.